All right, CAD fans, in this video we're going to look at some of the materials and rendering options. So let's take a look at the render group over here. And just for starters, we'll hit the render button just to see what happens. It wants to install the medium images library, which we might as well let it do. At the same time, it will create a rendered image of the drawing. I think. Did I lose it? There it is. And so that's the very basic thing. Now we're going to go ahead and put some materials to this to make it look more realistic. So, materials. Let's see. Right here in the materials browser. And we'll come up with some different types of stuff we can use. We can open the Autodesk library and look at concrete, for example. Cast in place. And pick one of these. Probably just regular old concrete would be good. So I left click on that, it moves up here and then let's say we want to make the footings down here concrete. We just drag and drop it onto those and now they're in concrete. So I might as well do the rest of them while I'm right here. We could make the columns concrete as well. That looks pretty good, huh? To make it easier, let's try using, under the Materials menu here, Attach by Layer. And I've got concrete right here. I can drag that onto all the towers stuff, the towers level. Let's see if that works. Yes. So now every, all the towers in that particular light blue color are in concrete. We could do some concrete on the deck as well, I suppose. Let's go back to that. And maybe, well, maybe not. We'll probably want the hanger beams to be steel. So we'll do it this way. We'll put this on the deck as concrete. And we'll make the beams as steel. So we got metals, aluminum, steel. Oh, we got all kinds of fancy ones here, don't we? Galvanized, shiny. Should we make it just like shiny? Tuned engine. Why not? So, just like that. Drop it on there. So they're going to be fancy shiny. In this case, I'm going to have to click and pick them all, aren't I? Well, in any case, let's see what it looks like when we render it now. Hit the render button. Notice in the render options we have here, we can do different qualities and let's just give it a try. So I know we're still installing the media, media images library. So there it is. We got concrete going here. It's it's pretty low res, but it'll it'll be okay. So I'm going to keep working on this and I'll come back in a second and show you what I've done. Here's a nice looking pedestrian and snowmobile bridge that was done by a capstone group, senior project, uh, over in Carabazit Valley. So what I did is I added a layer and then I could separate out the concrete deck from the deck girders so I could make the girders all sea green, the cables blue, and I used a couple different concretes on the footings and stuff. So that's what I got for material. Let's take a look at it and see how it comes out. And it's rendering away here. So there it is. Let's uh, play around with the background and stuff on this. If I type in the, the uh, term background, it comes up right now as solid. I could also use sun and sky. And we hit OK. And I can use set location. Maybe I'll just pick it from where we are. Use map, and we are in Maine. Okay, accept that. So now that gives me some sun and sky. We'll use maybe some shadows and sky background and illumination and see how that renders out. This may be a little slower now. It's going to take multiple passes over it to 
to set it. All right, there we go. That's pretty nice. You can also just save these things once you've got it up. You can just save it as a JPEG, and and that way you can send it to somebody when you finally get finished. I should also note that I did close AutoCAD and allow those medium resolution images to, to load and install. When I open it back up, it renders a little slower now, but it's a little better resolution. Uh, remember, we can always mess with the resolution up in this dialog here. Okay, so what else could we do? Um, remember from the background, I'll type that in again. We could do sun and sky. We could also do a gradient, or we could do a solid color. And you can pick the different colors here, anything you want. Uh, you can do, let's see, we'll just hit OK to show how that looks. So it changes it right in the, the uh, model space. You can also do an image. Go ahead and browse to an image and pick something. Say the, let's see, Arizona Glen Canyon Bridge. We can make that the background image. And then we could have our bridge be going across the canyon here somehow. Spin it around and make it match. Where's my spinning tool? Okay, so we turn it around so we get this bridge going across the canyon. I know it doesn't look quite right, but uh, that's another way you could do it. So I'll leave it up to you to investigate some of the finer points of doing this. Note that I can click that button right there, which is our pref to get to the, all the different render preferences. If we didn't want it to go to that rendering window, we could have it render right to the viewport, for example. We could have it render different things, cropped areas, selecting selected areas. Uh, you can mess with all the different options in here to your heart's content. Uh, let's see. Same things with the sun properties and the lighting properties, the light list. I didn't get into adding lights, but you can do that too. Anyway, have a good time playing around with the other options and uh, enjoy.